construction is a self world and world discovery here we create different types of road we do measurements in a particular types of project we also check the errors to avoid a fail of a project and we also check the operation of other projects which is the most important thing and we we also do calculations greetings to everyone in this video we'll be looking on the calculations of a virendel frame so here i have a, a, a section diagram here this is the column weight column weight here column weight, column weight until here for this of uh, the frame and then these are the forces one two oh. we have forces here this is b is for beam the beam there's the beam section so forces that keep uh, this uh, structure balanced so here the good side it, it will help us okay guys here we have a section that shows the spacing of a strut the spacing of strut and then the the strut the strut here the strut where the where you can find the, the weight of a column and then we have a beam section down there the beam here and then we have here yeah, this section this section this section here we have a distance from the top to be from the beam to to here we have the forces that are exiting downward here p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 then we are given p is equal to 1,4 which of column is equal to 1,48 volume and then if we want to calculate the total beam you see the total if you want to calculate the total weight actually total weight you will say total weight is equal to weight 1 plus weight 2 plus weight 2 3 plus weight 4 okay then we have this thing we call it a box between the the grad two threads on the structure so we have the top slab and then the below slab then this is the wall so the slab that slab is here is here when you look at this picture okay guys now we are going to look at uh, the frame and support conditions so here on the first uh, the first picture that or the first uh, diagram we have a rigid two column that has a one two three inside the frames it's one two three four five six so there we have uh, on the uh, on the other side of uh, that diagram we have the strut the strut it has a slab on the top on the portion or on the beam section it has a slab and then the spacing of a truss below that uh, diagram we have p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 and then we have a loading on the other side of that uh, diagram we have a loading if you want to if you want to find interior load you have to say p is equal to q times lr lr which is the spacing of a truss times a land divided by reaction node reaction node is equal to seven there and then we have an end joint and joint is what p it's p equal to q times lr times l divided by n not sorry guys for and the joint it's p equal to q times spacing of truss which is lr times the length divided by divided by it's set it's set which is the distance z times uh, n naught 
So we have a edit diagram there. It says the two the, the two floor slab that has a, a spacing of truss in in the middle portion. At the middle there is a, a spacing of a truss. Then we have a beam down there. This portion is on the right side. It's on the right uh, hand side. And then we also have There we have uh, it's PT. PT equal to Q1 times LR times L divided by 5. And then uh, it's for the second one we have it's P B equal to P P P T is 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 shown on the diagram there on the P diagram. It should P T is is on the top is on the top is on the top slab. P T is the the is exiting downward there. So it you say okay on the second one say it's P B equal to PP is the land, the vertical land from the top floor, top slab to the bottom slab. So we say PP equal to Q2 times LR times L divided by 5 plus the weight of the column. And then we have a P. P is equal to PT. PT is the is the force is, is that is on the top is the one that we I've already told you about its uh, formula. It's, it's that one. You will say it's P equal to PT plus PP. The unit of uh, this of P is equal to KN because the force is acting downward. Then we have a simple support. It's a simple pin support actually. Simple pin support. There is a diagram there that has one meter, one meter, one meter on the on the first frame. It's one meter on the second frame. It's one meter. The the distance the, the land there, but the total land there it's six meters because we have uh, six frames there. And then the height. From the bottom to the top it's a uh, one meter as well and then we have a weight a weight is equal to 80 kn per meter guys if you can't see my picture or my diagrams clearly please make sure that you report that on the comment section so that I can send you a clear picture so that you can see all these diagrams and then we will go now to the point load to each joint point load to each joint it says P equal to 30 times 6 divided by 6 knots which is equal to 30 kilo newtons or you can say KN and then at the end at the end, so you say, at the end of uh, this diagram, you say, P equal to 30 divided by 2 equal to 15 KN. So now we'll go to the last diagram. That has, on the A, we have a reaction there. The reaction at A and reaction at B. Reaction at A, we have the forces that are existing downward. The 15 KN, 30 KN, 30 KN, 30 KN, 30 KN. And thirty kn, and then the one that is exiting towards uh, reaction B, it's fifteen kn as well. So for if you want to calculate the reaction at A, you will say reaction at A is equal to thirty times six divided by two equal to ninety kilonewtons. Then the, the second reaction at support, 
then the second reaction it supports it reaction at b so if you want to get the reaction at b you will say reaction at b equals 80 times 6 divided by 2 equal to 90 kn thank you guys so guys this was uh, the section for uh, frame and support condition and then i will also try to show you the varying deal beam and uh, rigid supports and i will also show you a point load to joints thank you guys